Hello, it's Susan. Today I'm going to be doing a bloom. I'm going to be using some new paints that I got. Um, trying them out. The coloring medium is great. It dries very, very, very clear. So that's awesome. But the pillow, I'm just finding um, a little thick, so I added a little bit of water. Hopefully it'll work out all right. I am getting a lot of air bubbles in it though. So, I don't know, maybe it has to settle longer. I don't know. I, I thought it has been settling longer, but it could be because I added water. But even before I added water, it was, I had air bubbles too, so. We'll see how it goes. <clears throat> Just gonna pour a little bit more around the outside. works. I really like the paint. It seems nice and smooth and silky. So, and the pouring media or the the untinted paint is very dries very clear. Paint that I was using before for a pouring medium wasn't drying clear enough. So my piggies weren't looking that great when they dried. So. Hopefully, 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 this is working better. If I have to add water to it, oh well, so be it. It could be just this 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 tin that's thicker than the rest. I don't know. We'll see. So I am using whoops this little piggy harvest gold. I'm just gonna put it. Not much of it, it's very strong, very strong color. I used it in another painting and it just kind of took over. Either that or I have too much pigment mixed in with it. I'm not great at that yet, so it's just a tiny bit. At knowing how much exactly to mix in with the uh, pouring medium. This one is Dioxazin Purple Basics. Basics, yeah. And I'm not going to add too much of this because it takes over as well. Then I'm using a Fairy Floss, this little piggy. Then I'm using cappuccino, this little piggy. Oops. Then, um, an interference, this little piggy, twinkle. Then I'm using Quidacquidon Magenta. And this is, I don't know what brand it is. I think it's Basics, Liquitex Basics. I can't remember now. All right, I'm going to stand up for this. Oh, I'm going to use my Yeho to blow it out too. So. Oh. 
looks like I'm putting too much of this on, but now my cell activator, which is the uh, Amsterdam lamp black. Very good mix. A bit wonky there. I didn't quite get that out, so I'm gonna just blow it over. I'll try everything. I think it looks very nice. It's a little weird over here though. But that's probably going to pour off or spin off. I'm going to spin it. I'm going to spin now. Okay. Just show you a close up. Cool. All right, I'm spinning. really awesome over here but I don't want to lose that so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna try and move it over this way a little bit still it's very pretty I really like it all right I'm gonna spin it more hair dryer got caught up a little bit when I was first using it so that's why it kind of went wonky and I got some white a lot of white areas but that's okay I don't mind white that's a little weird spot right there I don't know why that looks like that but I'm not going to touch it some of that off and I'm just going to go this way. I love how the Eho makes the the outer edges wispy looking. Very nice. I love it. I love the results. Okay. Give it another spin.
I'm sure it's moving. One more spin. Oops, that was a pretty bad spin. I think that's about it. I don't think it's going to move much more than that. Hmm, it's interesting. Looks like a little flower in the middle. Like a tulip bulb or something. Cool. I like it. Here's a close up. Okay. I will let this dry. 